So we're coming into the close of the market in five minutes, starting now. Boom. Well, according to Windows time. We just uh, started this candle you know, five seconds before that. So we're in. Um, you're, if you're a bull, you bought the last five minutes down. So we're going to run a demo contest against uh, Rimba called me and said he was going to submit to the $5,000 challenge. And uh, let's just do mock-up. Uh, so you built a better uh, derby box um, design, more aerodynamic. I do think that derby thing would have really appealed to me if uh, my parents weren't so anti soapbox derby. It was too. Uh, those people were nerds, and we 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 wanted to go to school to be nerds. That's our family. I said you have to go to school to be a nerd. You're not allowed to be a nerd right up front, out of the box. We'll have none of that around here. So. There are family rules, you know. Well, I'm letting the robots trade this one for me. I'm in pure robot land here. My Frankenbots are running. Um, I have a 12-hour script stacking up, and I could force the robot to trade. Now, this would be stepping outside the bounds of the back testing. And right now, it just threw um, limits above and below. And it's doing it every five minutes, <laughs> throwing orders out. Now, somebody said in the comments um, that he was getting killed on multiple orders. He got to, now, I'm, this is a pure grid bot. So I, I'm going to post this one. I'm just going to call it script tester. Now, this is the thing I was saying in the other video, and maybe it got lost on some people. But I'm talking about you have to decide, like, write your own book on trading. I guess that's what the journal idea is, but the journal idea to me reminds me of... Do I really want to... Another thing is, do I really want to know what I did today? I'd be like, dude, you're a fucking idiot. You did what? Yeah, well, you know. And I, and I, so I went to try out this new uh, place today. And I thought... Why don't I be one of these mobile people? Now they want you to order your Starbucks in advance. Like, don't even fucking... I don't want to talk to you. You spit-spraying public human being that you licked your cup. Uh, yeah, if you get a refill, no cup. No, we don't, They want to touch your cap on your drink no more. So I'm going to give this a go. We got five grand in here. No. Nope. This is dedicated to all my fragging bots, this account. We're commingling it for the economy of time. Another thing is, if you're really serious about building a robot, shouldn't you be testing 10 of them? Queue them up, spend three hours, queue them up, and let them go. Let them compete against each other. They're both trading the euro. They're both trading all the yen pairs. You actually know. Now, this is a 10 pip grid. And my targets are in the tens. So I'm going to buy this deep. Now, I can't speed up the data, unfortunately. And that's the one beauty of Strategy Tester. So you can call me um, a bad person for using a demo. But what do you think you're doing in Strategy Tester? In fact, if all these $5,000. Uh, tier one trading come along with Jason Stapleton or Jason Stamen. And here we go, it's one minute left before brokers are going to kill the spread. The spread's 1.3. I put the spread indicator. So I imported the stuff from a file I just downloaded. I, or I, got a, I got another broker, right? So this stuff's been swapped around for a long time. And between my, me, myself, and I, so three people have been butchering it. And but for kicks, I want to let these last 12 hours, these orders, and I could regulate the time it trades. There's another big window here. If I tell the robot to place orders every minute, or no, every five minutes on a one minute chart, and using the one minute chart as its plot point to throw this grid out. So, what I'm saying is, set it to one minute if you want the highest res 
order placement based on this idea. And every five minutes, it's thrown out. And these are going to last 12 hours now. That's an immense amount of risk. If you're going to try to trade like Ryan Brown, you're going to take some hits. You'd have to figure out how much money is in the account. So you can. This other guy today made a comment and deleted it about can this guy who's trading at, um, what's her name? There's a million of these people, right? If you could trade like these guys do at um, something trading. Of course. The guy put in um, 500 or 5 grand and he built, he put in 600 and built it up to 60 grand. Sure. He built up to $6 million. Um, and he said, is this, is this fake? Is this real? Like, dude, anybody can do that. That does that. I know that sounds really bad, but if you're a guy that's into doing that, you probably know how to do it and you're doing it. And it would also entail, maybe, busting your ass on the five-minute chart and be like, buy, sell, buy, sell. Five minutes, up, get out. Five minutes down, get it. I mean, I mean, literally turn on a dime. The market's turning on a dime. Another thing I'd say, what is the five-minute chart telling you? How many pips can it move in five minutes? Not that many. Um, the spread's four. The spread, so yeah, you can trade with a five pip stop. You can do it, not now. And if you limit the, turn the bot off like right here at the climax uh, of the end of the uh, day. So what happens today uh, if you are a person that likes to buy new lows? And I'm only speaking to new low daredevils. You bought here and maybe you got filled there. And maybe not. If the spread's four, you definitely did not. So you had to overpay, and you also had to buy every hour it was smashing down. So any bull worth his bull is going to buy hard here. I don't know why people give me thumbs down. It's You, you have no choice in the matter. If you're scaling in, and you don't know how far this is going to pull back, if you know how far that's going to pull back, you'd have to make your first claim here stru structurally. If you a person that goes for wick tips, now there's wick tip people. There are crotch entry people. That's my preferred entry point. I'm gonna buy here. Like way more orders here, and then way more orders here that never got filled. So I got a big fat order here. I'm like, damn it. If they would have filled that. Look at this one hour climax. Boom. Almost like there's a rhythm. Three down, one up. You couldn't fuck like that. That's the problem. The reason people don't make money is because the, the market doesn't fuck the way you want it to. So, yeah, this trend line, of course, is breaking. But isn't the doji the dumbest trade you'll ever do? This is why people like this Rimba guy that wants to be a sophisticate. He's all pissed off. Yeah, this is stupid doji traders getting in here. Look at three dojis. And look at, even the stop bots are getting in here. This one gets trapped a little bit for the most part, though. Whoosh. Here comes the limit, guys. They made money. But they did not get stopped out of that. They're running, and this is your grid now. So I turned off the grid. It's, you really, okay, we got uh, one minute till five minutes after. Spread should tighten up. Every five minutes, the spread's constantly changing. In fact, I didn't do it yet. I didn't grab the ass thing, but I'm just assuming that the best trade right now would be to put a buy limit three pips deep. If the spread's four, as soon as the spread tightens, you're picking up 1K. You'd be surprised, the feeling. I'm not letting them trick you into a trade. You tricked me. Um, yeah, they bit it down. They, like, everybody's like, dude, it's just tanking. So I started selling, and then I got whipsawed. And then some ass clowns got a 
doji bot that's triggered here and he's like dude i'm making so much money i don't care which direction it goes i know you sophisticates so the the seal team six guy um uh floor trader i love to hear floor, floor traders talk but dude it's not out to get you these these this everybody's aware of that climax moment right so there's a vacuum setting up here and there's one setting up here all this to backfill we're at the we're at the apex the triangle right coming into the holiday previous top bottom so huge short, short squeeze what did you make in four hours if you bought here look the bigger the down the bigger down you buy so you have a justification to trade like that again that's the whole point of it now people may be can they cannot believe somebody could counter trend trade and make a living but if you buy, because this is down so catastrophically, 20 pips in one hour, and you buy, and you nail that button at the market, or you have a robot, a market bot should be obvious. Why aren't people building this shit? I'm going to fucking build it then. It buys, if it's down 22 pips, it buys with a 50 pip stop on the one hour chart. It just does. buys a 10k at the market the very first order that hits the broker has to be the scalp first in first out oh we just we just laid some more orders in so it's laying orders in every five minutes is stacking up on this puppy so it's a dream come true thanks to the youtube because i'm not going to sit there and charge people for these scripts there's no guarantee you will not overtrade this system. It doesn't make sense. So people sent me code, and I put it on that hightail. And I'll put this limit bot, which you could call this a limit bot. It's What is inside of this is running. I'll show you what's running inside of this. Um, let me get out of drawing mode. This is, and this is going to be very hard to read now. I had changed the color so I could watch the fucking terminal, the tickets. So this should be a black background, but in essence, this is what's going on. It's going to be hard to see the... You're going to have to get Control-A to read it, I think, honestly. This is the get around. But these are not activated because these have forward slashes, so it's a little deceiving. But uh, here's the um, what's under the hood, so to speak. Not for the faint of heart, as they say. And um, it's ugly. But here's the active tickets. So what I did was I put the current uh, asking price in the middle of the script. And um, I could call it script tester. You have to open it up to see what I've done here. I'm essentially buying 50 pips deep, 60, 70, 85, 95, 100, 130, 150, 200, 250, 300. And I've got quite a liberal stop on this. I'm going to say about 150 pips stop on that. Same here. So I put a big foot. I mean, this is just one thought, okay? It is a bottomless pit of how long do these last now, right? These these last 12 hours now. So there's a potential to really blow the account up. What this is doing, though, is that if you're the kind of person that wants to keep trolling for a sell-off of X, you're picking the momentum up front. You're going to pick it. If you think the market's going to drop a pip a minute... You're saying 60 pips in a minute, 60, 60 pips deep, and the ticket lasts for up to 60 minutes. So it's got to get there by then. You're creating your own time price auctions. You're building your own auction system. Uh, now, granted, 
you're going to have to trade bigger size on these tickets if your broker threatens to shut you down. You need a broker that's going to let you... Uh, so, yeah, you... Or what you do is you just have them last 15 minutes. This is where the skill level comes in. What kind of script can you write that fits a, a news event? Well, the market can go down 300 pips in reverse. Would you put a 250 pip stop on that with a 300 pip take profit? I mean, there's times when that, that scenario makes total sense. So let's imagine somebody said, how much money can you make in one month trading? Now, the idea that you're making money and losing money is preposterous without a time frame. So... How much money do you make per day on average? Well, what is the time window? What am I allowed to make in one month? So if you put it in front of me and say, okay, here's a thousand bucks and um, I'm going to give you a thousand dollars a month. Can you live off of that? Could you make a thousand a month on a thousand dollar account? Now, what does that come out to be in, um, so you, can you make like half a minimum wage trading and you're only showing up every eight hours or you just, um, you did plan it out. You did look at the dynamics of the market and said, well, look at this market's capable of X swing. Are you running swing pots? And I'm running, a, I'm running this thing to force it to trade. I do have some, I would say it's all greedy targets in a way. I didn't do the math on the targets, so sorry. You can do that. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to pay attention to the ratios on this right now. I just want to see if it'll even run. Now, once again, if you decide to hedge, you're going to pay more. If you have, so say one of these big trading houses, uh, maybe you're using level two so you can just see um, the market and maybe you do have Reuters coming in on optic fiber and you're like dude I'm plugged in they're paying me fucking dude go I want every fuck I want my my laptop is like optic fiber um, I'm on I'm on the crapper and I've got optic fiber into the like this guy I know he's got a automatic toilet I mean this guy's not gonna know how to wipe his ass one day you got the automatic toilet. Uh, it's like it's got a remote control, two settings. Sober and uh, hammered, I suppose. So yeah, we've seen it all. The robots are taking over. And here, when you hit control, all oh, you'll see my edits kind of sloppy. But essentially, it is a bottomless pit of, and of course, each this whole bank is dedicated to lasting 12 hours how many times does it launch that's at the top there's only two controls at work here these other settings i'm not going to take them out but they don't do anything so what is completely non-functional is this range and this number when it says check every five minutes it's saying dude we're trading every five minutes so i would parenthetically list this as launch so I should probably put that in there. And so if I do four, two forward slashes, I can put a comment here. And we'll just say, uh, oh, yeah, I was going to put spaces in there. Yeah, um, so launch, to be explicit. Oh, maybe I should put the uh, famous... Uh, make a note of it hopefully that's going to compile without blowing it up so there um and that's the only thing that's happened this other stuff is but if i omit that it's going to say well where is it but somebody wrote this for me i can't remember some guy in britain that writes code and i haven't messed with this Okay, have not changed that setting. I have not, but I'm happy that it's running. 
and I can tell it how often to run. And here's where you're forced to write to what, um, what the universe gave you because I could also have open positions and do hedges here, and I kept that in there if anybody wants to be daring. I could also put stop entry and get in on something on the way there. So every, every half hour I could be putting buy stops in, and I could change this to run only every half hour. I can delete all open and pennings right now. I can start over from scratch before anything fills. So I can intervene on the robots. Right, it's a bottomless pit. There is no one way to trade. It's really how much do you know about trading that you could run those schemes? Because we all know when the market trades sideways too long, what is 100% guaranteed fucking teed is it ain't going to trade sideways forever. My tequila buddy discovered that. No matter what position he got in, he says, well, we're either going up or down. I mean, this guy is so blunt. You have to understand a... Italian Irish drunk. <laughs> this guy is just blot out. If it wasn't for his testosterone, this guy can have sex in front of people. I'm just there I said it. He's been known to perform. <laughs> so this guy's got testosterone and he is just when he I said I said to him, so try to apply to his reason sometimes. And mind you, he owns a gun collection. And I've told him a million times, dude. <laughs> I know you say it's empty, but you're hammered. Okay. Can I just mention, did I mention you're hammered? I'm sure you know people like this in your life and you're still alive and you're like, but I've taken some risks. So if somebody said to me, God, that you're a risk taker. I guess that appeals about Forex. And of course, um, so yeah, here's the, uh, the excitement here. And of course, pip range, um, Static daytime. So this is also, we can tell this robot when to start and stop, I think. Static current time. Do work time. Well, we don't want to do any work. That's why we hired this robot. Let's see. Then we have... Um, change time frame. So I guess I restart the robot. When I change the time frame, I'm kind of activating it, I think. Every time you switch time frame, this runs again, though. Do you initialize it? Okay, so um, I guess I never initialized it for any kind of thing. It's just on the five. But I, what I can do is, but I wouldn't do it because I'm just too bored. <laughs> I'd have to rewrite the whole thing. I mean, really, it should be like every, um, you know, hour. But of course, being impatient, I just want to I just want to run this on the uh, strategy tester. So the cool thing is, during Asia, and you're in front of the computer, instead of trading, instead of putting on trades with really bad spreads, you could run this. And you trust you're testing that strategy. You really are, but you're also testing how deep does it go, how deep is your love, and on the guppy, this thing might be trading beautifully. But on the euro dollar, it's not going to fill. Unless these tickets last, and I've done a lot of testing so far. Like I said in the last video, but here I'm giving away my uh, my script bot. Set up to limit mode. You can come in here and make it um, into a, uh, a bracket bot. So this guy today says, oh, I'm making a good result with a bracket bot. Oh, absolutely. In fact, I could have this just put on a... Um, a hedge in Asia only. So it just stacks up everything and it doesn't trade anymore. And I would call it the Asian breakout bot. Now this would be uh, just like the London breakout. And maybe you do run on the pound and it makes money because it's just like, dude, as soon as the volatility goes up, we're going sideways, it's scatterbaiting, it's got some fake out orders in there, but it only trades once a day. And it's scenario-based. And uh, be careful here because I've actually written 5Ks into this. Now, you can't just go turning this on, take away the four slashes. And if you make a breakout bot out of this, which you're welcome to, like I said, once I post this, you can run any trade plan you can think of if it launches systematically 
every five minutes. And I guess I could have it launch every minute. If I wanted to go to ridiculousness, if it launches every minute and it only runs in Asia and it's trading 10 pips deep, you've got to verify that you have the appropriate bot running on the appropriate scheme. So you have curve fitted it. You've written it in advance. You know exactly what it's going to do. So um, it's scenario based. Uh, you could have it set for London Open with uh, limits that run 15 minutes now because the question is how many pips a minute do you want to make so if I tile the windows oops shit sorry <laughs> I lost my uh, main screen there okay I'm running in I'm running in here JAFX and uh, so this is not um, a real account. And there's a reason for that. Because I'm running 12-hour limits here. Now, I could come in, and if I get scared, if it was real money, what I'd probably do is like this. Let me just delete all these. close all and this is going to this is going to get rid of my risk right here there's no shame in pulling back your forces there's another thing I'm a very stubborn uh, person headstrong determined perfectionistic asshole okay um, I'm nice as the day is long until you go illogical on me and then I'm just going to fucking come unwrapped if you're going to talk dumb shit I'm just going to come unwrapped. So I guess I'm not streaming right now because some ass clown would be being an ass clown to be an ass clown. And it would just be... I'm actually taking stuff off of everything. There's other robots running in the background. So it's getting to other things right now. Okay, so we just... There we go. We're flat. We have no exposure. So there's all sorts of things in trading to consider. And I could leave this as my history. I come home, see how the robot did... Symmetrical buy and sell limits here. Red sell, uh, buy blue. So let me amp this guy up. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the script a little bit. And I'm going to run it on the fifth. I'm going to run it on the... Um, I'm going to make a 15-minute script, but I'm going to put the orders in closer. Now this is a real pain in the ass, uh, in case you're wondering... But it's okay because if you're going to clone this, if the broker's going to let you run this many tickets per hour, and you might want to check with them. But what if I were to sell, instead of 50 pips above me, I would sell 8. But for 15 minutes, so 80 is 8. I'm going to sell the ask, and I'm going to put a stop in of 10 pips, which is worse than 10 because I'm going to, there's a spread in the commissions maybe. So at 180, it would be 18. It's hard, very hard to see. And we're going to look to make <sighs> uh, we have to make a um, and let's say a zero. So where we got in, we're going to get out. We're going to make less than eight, and we're going to risk ten. And that's going to be our trolling bad ticket, but a higher probability of winning. So what Ryan Brown says is true. As you make your targets closer, and your risk is, risk is, is wider, and your risk is, is are like... Uh -huh, right, so you, you survive that 10 pip, but it comes back 8. And if you wanted to be less greedy, you're looking to make 5 here. So you go plus, and that may be the better trade, although now you're getting to the point where your ratios suck. So we all know that. Now instead of 12 hours, we'll make this 15. It's as tight as the brokers that I've ever found let you make it as M15. 
but we're eight pips away. Now, if I put that 15 pips deep, in 15 minutes, I'm saying that I want to make 15 pips a minute. If we smash down 15 pips in 15 minutes, would you buy? And a lot of the time at the market, that's the only excitement and satisfaction in trading is buying a plunging market when you're bullish. For me, it's the only satisfaction. Pending's feeling, I'm like, yeah, I guess crushing into that. But I'm like, dude, I want to shoot this thing as it's dropping. Or throw limits out in front of it. And be like, oh, yeah, fuck. Perfect. Perfect estimation. Perfect. And just, you know, so I guess there's satisfaction in something. So I'm going to go M15. And there's suggestions that come up. And when, it, when, when you don't see, uh, so if I put M15 in here, that's a viable number. And it's blue. But if you put H2 in, it won't be blue. But it's a viable number. So you have everything available from... M15, M30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12. Yeah, 4, 6, 8, 12. I don't like all day. And I have been running tests on all day. Amazing. All week. Oh, my God. Right. On the right currency pair. The right swing. But here I have a scalp built into the tippy top of both the upper and lower register up here. And this is a robot that you could run. If the spread is under 8 pips, so otherwise the well, broker's not going to take this because you're putting in tickets that if this is um, too big, another nice thing is that if it's a fixed pip broker and there is a filter, you can write scripts to a fixed pip broker and those robots will not, they'll be denied access, but it's fine because it'll just kill it, I hope. I've never run the robot on that, but I know the scripts run like that. will just not take the ticket. Let's compile that. And I actually have these robots running right now. I didn't take them off of the chart. But now they're lasting 15. And look at, we've got... Uh, so we have to... I don't know if you have to reload those bots now. Ready to fill here. Okay, so this we just came in with the latest. So we don't have to reload the bots. It's still going to get picked up. A pips above, A pips below. It's going to sell the bid and buy the ask with a spread of 1.8. It's also running on the yen. So we have not made or lost any money yet. And this would be a real-time example, and it's also only going to last 15 minutes on these tickets, so our exposure is completely reduced. Now what you're asking is the market's a plunge within 15 minutes like this, and scenarios are like this. Now certainly this on a 10-pip grid, one, two, three, up hard, uh, we moved... 20 pips in 30 minutes. So having sell limits front running for 15 minutes based on this price. So the beauty of this bot is it doesn't care what's going on. But what it is saying, you got to get me here, bitch. You got to come to Papa. Right. Um, I don't know why this limit's in here like this. I guess it didn't. I guess I got to reload it. Forget what I said. I don't think it changed this. Oh, wait. No, sorry. No, I spoke too soon. Right here. This is our limit. That's the 8 pip deep. Can you see a difference here? I mean, just, just try to think about this. I mean, I know this is going to be a heartbreaker for that rim. A rim dim. But there's a whole big difference between placing a buy limit here for 15 minutes or three days. If you're continually front-running the market, and you can test this stuff, now you've got to, you might as well just run it real time. So somebody asked me a long time ago, should you write a script when the market's open? Yes. Because you're saying, I think I want to buy here for the next 15 minutes. Now, it's a very simple trade plan. I'd say a starter point for people that are afraid to put limits in 
and you're getting clobbered with multiple tickets, you're just putting too many in. And it's possible because a guy, another guy, wrote a clone of the drop. Well, I could blow up an account with that shit. Look at the spread getting all frisky here because here comes the bottom of the hour. So here's the key things happening right now. Spread's just tightened up because it's the bottom of the hour. Half hour into the market makers. Try trick trades. They're going to trick trade you. Um, also, I'm going to see if I run this every minute now. So uh, every minute, I'm going to be running a limit eight pips deep. I'm really curious to see what happens now. I'm going to rewrite the script to do that trick. And this is on how the frequency of launch. And maybe I can put it to three minutes. Um, but if we can do one, I'd prefer that. The impatient side of me says yes. Eight pips deep. Uh, so we can run it real time. Back testing is a little bit of an anxiety attack, waiting for it to load. Here we could do it. We can do it where every minute we're going to throw limits in eight pips deep here. Look how frisky it's getting. I could also engage the buy stop side of this so it's constantly in some kind of stupid ass trade by default on the stop entries and in other words it's literally breakout trading but maybe we launch it only every four hours then we get the frequency right as soon as you set the ratios and the frequency all trade plans work any stupid ass system works if you get the sizing right and the frequency of trading right if it's a monthly system and you force it to be a weekly system, it's going to it's gonna cornhole you. It will not take any prisoners. This is obviously going to be a nice buy limit. Every minute this thing's running. So if we go to the one-minute chart, we should see this thing throwing orders out every minute. So maybe we're stuck with five minutes. Maybe you have to relaunch the, the bot. I guess I do. Let me remove it. I guess I got too excited there. Um, expert advisors, remove. And then we go back to the, I call it script tester for the moment. You can call it what you want. But don't call it late for dinner. Um... Sorry, I gotta go to the expert. I always this pissed me off too. The whole phrase expert advisor, like, dude, I'm the expert here. I can't tell you how I resent the idea of an expert having anything to do with my shit. All the experts I've ever had in my life just fucked I had a guy from Mensa manage a a currency account for me. So if you if you're Mensa, you could lose a lot of money trading. This guy's from months. Dude, I can't even spell. Okay. Using Google. Okay, so we relo reloaded. It's supposed to launch every minute. Let me see if it does it. It just launched. Every minute would be preferable. So we could really try this show. This plus it's going to only last for 15 minutes, these uh, orders. But this way, they're plotting around the volatility in essence because every time they make a move, it's like a constant bracketing on limits. Now that may not be a good idea if the market's wild. And it may not be a good idea if the orders last too long. So there's all kinds of things. There's all kind of problem with buying low and buying too much in the market. So apparently Rim, Rim Dim knows where the market's going. So he can magically place his orders in the level two, but he has not revealed that to us. Uh, or you're just riding the beast, as they would say. On the one minute, you're like, dude, sell. We're done. Sell. Uh, two minutes up hard, I always sell. I'm short. Okay, get ready to buy. Get ready to cover. Spreads two pips. Uh, here comes the five-minute traders. What are they thinking? Go to the five-minute chart. Oh, they, they got it in this uh, gravestone. They're along the gravestone. They're buying more. When the red line gets below, there is a tighten up. The guys are sitting with the finger on the trigger waiting for that spread to tighten. Or you could just be putting in limits. Now, my limits just are down here, eight pips deep. They look like they're never going to fill. 
then let's rewrite the script. So this is what I would do. If you're very aggressive and you don't want to overpay 8 pips, well, by all means, get in 2 pips deep. Every minute, we're buying... Oh, I forgot to ask if the broker lets us trade inside the spread, so let's go for 4 pips deep. So a minor adjustment makes a big deal. Let's see if this updates on the chart. I'm hoping it's going to come right in on top and start trading. He said a time frame shift would reactivate it. We have to wait for a tick to come in, though. And these are 15-minute scrubs, mind you. So look how deep. Now, on the weekly, you're like, Oh, yeah, I can see what you mean. I'd like to buy up. I'd like to sell up here. Hell, that's one of my Fibonacci's up there. Son, we got a Fibonacci script that sells at 61.8 pips away from the current price at all times. So, yeah, if you believe in Fibonacci, why aren't you putting Fibonacci limits out there? No, we're speculating. We'll see the price action when it gets... No, dude, if, it's, if it works, just plop your limits and open another account. Um, get more than one broker, you know. Don't fucking live off of one idiot. What if he goes out of business? So, the 10-pip grid. Wow, look at this fucker. Ready to bust up. So I think we're going to get it filled on our cell limits here. But I'm going to let that robot do it for me. I ain't participating no more. So here we come in. Every minute. That's your 15-minute scripts there, son. So we got 15 minutes and we're four pips away now. Did it rewrite that? I can't tell. Did I fuck up the math here? Shit, my entry's four pips deep. Maybe it's not taking it. That's taking it. Oh, the exit's bad. No. So we're getting in so tight. We need to exit at a profit here. I say plus. Plus four. So let's just make eight pips again. I get a minus. Exit minus. Four pips. I guess that's a more better scheme. Here we go. Yeah, it wasn't going to launch that. Because it was too... Yeah, so that's actually the... Four pips deep. And we still have not traded yet. We're really close to it, though. 15 minutes on these... Oh, I got, I got stop bots out there, too, running. So we got limits. And uh, price-wise. So I'm stacking up. Here's our current exposure. So this is, you could also tell this robot, do not trade during this session. So here you can see how spicy it is. Here's your uh, level two trading. Here's your um, order flow. So you get a monitor, uh, get a doll or something, or get an IPS that you can mount vertically and just look at the pure. That's what a 4K would be good for. Flip it so you can see the um, level two. So if you really are a level two trader, which is probably not getting rid of that idea, you it'd be really cool to set up your monitors vertical, right? If you really cared. So you can see the whole depth of market. But I'd rather see depth of fill. And another thing is you can turn off the commissions. 
because even if there are commissions, I don't give a fuck. I don't want to take it. You can't turn off this for some reason. You can't turn anything off in here, and that's kind of sad. You can go for manual arrangement, and you can turn the grid off. But here we can see the exposure come and go. I'm 15 minutes here on the... Uh, these can chase them around. So I do have other things running. Let's just take a look at the balance. We'll, we'll know when we get filled. So far, every minute, we are launching a buy limit and a sell limit. So 15-minute scripts, and I've never... This is my first time so doing this script. Um, doing this really where I know what it's doing for the first time. Every minute it's launching a buy and sell limit strategy four pips away. Risking more than it's going to make. What I can also do is every, I could switch this to say every 15 minutes we're going to get in at the market regardless of what's going on and we're going to have, uh, it's going to do a 10k and one of those tickets is going to make a half a pip, one's going to make one pip, two, three, four, all the way to ten pips. The stops, master stop, right? Hard master stop on that. So I think if you are going to get in a 10K at the market, you have a hard stop, buy a 10K, but you're streaming out. Or maybe you have a soft stop of five if you're a scalper. These are all things that would matter to how you play the market. If you're playing the market live real time and you know, okay, just let the robot do it. This is what I would do. So if you're trying to train somebody, there's this artist, I can't remember his name, that he had, he was one of these conceptual artists, so what he did was he just hired people to paint his shit. His name started with a K. Cabin or something. Some guy said my art looked like something. I thought it was a compliment. My art looks like something at least. So I've done artwork, you know. And I'd like to do some more artwork, you know. Um, commercial art, I suppose. But yeah. Um, so, looking, and I'm running these uh, too, these stupid breakout bots. Let's look at the whole scheme here. Tile my dust, please. Oh, I created a template here. It looks ugly compared to these, so I think I'm going to use the original template. I tried to darken that up. It just backfired. But I do want to add the grids to these. So I'm going to pop up to my trusty indicator and run the grid. We'd be running the grid. Um, oh, it's just a number. I'm not a number. That's another thing is this uh, number thing. So in Forex, you're just another number, just another goober waiting to be fleeced. It's so funny that this guy, uh, Norman, I can't remember his name. Norman. Stormin' Norman. Indicator list. There was 10 pips right there, son. We just fit 10 pips here. That's a whole lot of pips. And we'll put the spread on there. Give me some spread, son. It's got a nice spread. Shotgun. Yeah, the last shooter used a shotgun. Go figure. They're like, he's got no AR-15 there. You... What the fuck is wrong with people? Dude, are you fucking kidding me? So, yeah, people don't like my videos, dude. How about go hate on the fucking idiot with a fucking shotgun you make me so angry I can't find my scripts um I'm looking for it's called spread <laughs> spread spread and it's white it could be black but look at the spread it's five pips so there's this guy you know he trades euro um AUD I know you spread it for the you trade it for the pips I know I get it Look at the volatility on that. And so here is the trusty spread at five. That's brutal, man. I get that it's moving a lot of pips. Like, look at this. 
And I also have, I could put on top of this, this colored 100 pip handle. So it really, I don't want you to focus on the 100 pips thinking that there's a magical thing that the brokers and the, and the market makers are turning in the 100 because they don't always turn on the 100. There's a lot of self-fulfilling um, projections. So this guy said this morning that, or somebody said a few days ago, that people are, would, they don't like what I'm doing because they're angry that I'm uh, talking about the market because they can't or they don't or they won't. Um, and so that you get people that, oh, dude, what are you talking about? I also built a, um, and I could show it here, I could, I could go on for three hours and show you everything. Um, how to build a cloud bot here out of these HASs so that you could change the colors on these. Well, you could get lost in this shit. And that is a problem. So you could, you could have, like, you could get divorced uh, becoming a trader easily. You're like, dude, get away from me. I'm trading. Um, it's very easy to, you know, it's too much fun, right? Spread not so much at six now. But I get it. If you're trading with a 50 pip stop, yes. If you waited for this to come down here, yes. This is what they call optimal trade entry. But dude, you really waited that long? You waited a month to buy here and now you're holding long? Maybe on one ticket you did that. But don't forget, there was a guy that bought this whole fucking thing. And he's going to tell you, like, this Storm and Norman guy. Dude, we stayed in it. We're up. And we bought all this shit. And we bought a pant load right in here. A pant load. More than, your, more than any infant could produce. And, and multiplied times ten. And you're prepared to buy this one. This is where you're going to bet the ranch. You're like, dude, and as you're watching that collapse, think about it. That's my tequila buddy says. The guy that buys every hard down on the daily, monster, deep pocket, big wig, Soros trader. How does he buy? Oh, he bought here. He bought here, he bought here, and he bought everything here. And he just sat back. At this point, he knows this exists. He can cash out. Trade the back pedal. Take everything off here. Trade the counter wave. That's a 10 pip grid. 10 pips. If the spread's five, you better be a good trader. Spread's five. Are you buying now? Or are you going to buy in limits? Let me see if they'll even, the robot will take it. If the broker lets me trade inside the spread, I'm going to launch my limit bot right now. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Dude, they're hunting your stops. <sighs> it's horrible. Oh, some guy uh, posted a video. I'll put a link on there. Some guy's talking really quiet. Somebody had commented. He did a video, so I liked it. Um, so, yeah. I don't mind all the... I don't mind if you say I have my head up my ass, but please tell me the position that it's angled, that it's placed at. What I really want is some details. Tell me where I'm full of shit, because you can't. I'm telling you everything that's happening here in real time. Um, so there you go. There you go. I do like candlesticks. I'm a very. I, I do like candlesticks. Forget what I said. But I like what you do with them. There's trade plans for them. Think of the Doji Daily Trader. I think this is really uh, just amazing. Now wick to wick. Wick to wick, this isn't the greatest thing, right? But look at the body's only 10 pips. 20 pip body. Okay, so this is where the spread's going to fuck you. 
it's a 25 pip body if you get it at the market um time of day so you could have a robot that literally gets in at a certain time of day it puts a hedge on here and you could back test that and it is true that a certain time of day it's dead and i'd say that time of day is right now we know this to be true it's time to put a hedge on non-directional in this case there is no directional filter on this robot so uh trade at your own risk trade demo that's another reason why i don't really want to give people fish or, or charge people for fish i'd rather have them go fish imagine i had a copy trade and you copied one of my winning strategies on that particular broker on that particular day you can still lose money trading you can still over trade if you tell the robot only trade now in this one window or only launch the orders every 12 hours for fifth okay imagine this every 12 hours i'm sorry the script um every hour you're launching and you're getting in 10 pips deep for 30 minutes and that robot only runs and i think i can make this so it only runs this particular time of day if not i can probably add that i may be able to hack that myself but so far every time i do an edit it says where's this where's that i don't know go ask fucking rimdom so also this thing here I don't think it's abiding by the bars maybe I can set and maybe this isn't even enabled okay that's my script so I'll start the script code here yes static daytime current time I don't see a place to limit its trading. But I've seen that in robots before. Start time. On time. So, um, I have it set to super aggressive. But I've de-aggressed it by using a 15 minute script. So that's evaporating from the market. And at four pips deep, I should be getting filled on something. Amazingly, I can't get filled. Let's attempt it here. See if they'll let me trade inside the spread. So if I go for new order, uh, F9. We go for pending. And then this will find out. So by zero pips, which means they probably let us trade inside the spread. So let's run it. Script tester. Oh, fuck. I lost it already. Wow, look at all this crap in here. So much. Limit grid master. All sorts of crazy shit going on here. So I just call it script tester. There it goes. Boom. Now what I'm worried about is that since it can't get a fill, it may be continually watching that. How much is that currency going for? Okay. So here it is. Every minute it's going to start launching 15 minute scripts on the uh, so they are letting me trade inside the spread I think so they're letting me put a buy limit no, I guess I guess not no the spread isn't that wide yet so sell limits are based on the uh, on the ask but we're really close to getting filled now so we literally be selling the new highs on bid it's a pretty good entry 
I can't say it's going to make us money and we could still intervene, but every every minute we're going to be launching. Here we go. Just put a sell limit in. And a buy limit. So it's freaked out. It's putting in a buy limit below the ask. So we are getting inside the spread there. See how that is? Ask is here. The buy limit's sitting below ask. Okay. You can't get a better price than that. If you buy at the market right now, you got to pay the red line. So I don't know if Rim Dim's aware of this shit. If you want to play that game about... Um, so we'll put the ask in white. And we can see that the white line has to hit this line. One of these arrows. I mean, it has to hit the blue arrow. And this black line has to hit the current price has to hit um, the red so maybe I should make that white too if you change the background color uh, or one of these I think it's an ask line the line graph dictates the color of the ask I think Oh no, the grid is the ask. I think. I, I mean the bid. So we change the bid. We change the line color to white. So that is the spread. The white lines are either going to stop us in or take us out. Make sure I got that right. Line graph. Okay, the grid color is what determines this. So that's your grid color. Uh, the grid described by MetaTrader. So it's a, it's a fine distinction. Because if the grid's black, it's going to make your bid black. So if you want a white bid, so you can be, keep your spread in mind. Especially Asia, it's going to tighten up. As soon as they come into Australia open, it's going to tighten up. And the nice thing about these limits is that you're getting the best possible price at the moment. So don't you want the best price? Don't you want trolling 15-minute orders really close to the market? And even if you don't have a direction in mind, because uh, you can get the best deal in town, right? And plus, you can see that that spread here. It says six. And it's white just like that. I did want to go for a darker color here. The background. It's tough for me to use colors because I got chromatic shift issues. That's very disturbing to look at. So here, the ticket's easier, easier to see there. We can also change the color of that. The stops, we can make those black. And we can make the entries black. This will make it clearer. So that's just exposure. Either the white line, you can't unfortunately make the, so we're about to get filled here on cells, it looks like. There, we just got filled. So finally, we got a trade on. And how many K are we in? 3K. I think it's 400 to one leverage. Okay, it's costing us seven bucks to hold this trade, 3K. And um, I've got greedy, tar I got, uh, my take profits are not greedy. So there you go, it's trading. Now, are you upset about being down 72 cents? That's the thing I can never get that guy to talk about that dim rim was money. How do you feel about being down a buck? So I'm watching this trade real time. It comes to the top of the hour, five seconds. Oh, just picked up another cell. These are 15 minute scripts We're launching every minute. Start with five grand. 
and the redress about to get filled on the buy limit side. So we're gonna we're gonna build a hedge, and the, every minute the robot is of course if I could just there's got to be a way to set this to trade not it shouldn't trade certain times right. Depend, oh, the spreads just tightened up. See that? Top of the hour spread just went to half. I'm kind of inclined to let it just trade all the time because I just want it to trade every hour. Um, because the entry would be the filter then. But now I have a team of them running. But this could be a problem. I think it's better to so you don't punish the broker you have this guy comes out he trades asia i got an asia bot and i got a a news bot and let this bitch go um look at that look at that so i'm using 14 dollars a margin and i'm down four bucks i'm long And then I, I went long actually. I thought we were getting sold on, filled on the sell side, but no. So we're long. Down, down 250, 280. I'm sorry, I made some money. I made some Ryan Brown money. See that? 34 cents. And um, there you go. So it's doing what it's supposed to do, and uh, that was about the best buy I've ever had, if I'm buying. Like when the market heats up, you got to pull this bot off. And maybe you can set the time it runs in the um, expert advisor properties. Here, Maybe we could set it here. Right. Inputs. Okay. Every minute. All right, there's nothing here to edit. But we can probably get the time thing to run. And then I can test and scrap you test. We splice in the, because um, I've got other robots here that do run a time based. Somebody asked me about the blessing uh, thing. It's just too harebrained. You have too many variables. You got to keep the, you got to be aware of this um, payoff. In my mind, what the ultimate bot would be for me is that on the, uh, it takes into account this range here and it only trades these big four hour um, go nowheres. So it only gets in based on a dead market. That's my dream bot. It gets in here, really gets in here, really gets in here, and really gets in here, and really gets in here. And that's it. It's the only trades that the gravestone bot, right? And did it clean up? Yeah. Now you may say I got trapped here for 30 pips, but I'm talking euro versus the um i'm sorry you can't see it i'm on the euro versus the uh missing the headstock here that's the euro versus the australian i'm sure everybody knows that it trades at a dollar 57. another thing is it costs you a lot of money to trade this eats up a lot of margin because it costs a lot for this currency but it's a big mover you can buy twice as much New Zealand dollar. And that spread sucks too. The CAD sucks too. Let me see if I can save that. I did want to put the 100 pip handles up there, but it's a little bit, it's too much. I don't want anybody to think that the market's going to turn around the 100 and bet the ranch because it doesn't always do that. It seems like it does. Like I said, a lot of this is psychological confirmation bias of reality. You know, it's just you want it to be, so there it is. You want Fibonacci to work, so there it is. Oh, 
this is the one minute uh, bot running right now. And every 60 seconds, it's throwing limits out there. I could also launch it here. Let's see what the spread is. So this is a big thing. Angry. Oh, tight spread. Well, let's launch it here. So I can run on multiple currency pairs. I know that I know it's a bad ratio, but it will make something. And so if Ryan Brown's um, risk more than you make works, then and it gets a frequency of trading right, it'll make money, right? Because it's like high probability that's going to make money than lose money. And that's the argument. So far, we're down four bucks. So it's coming in with more pendings here. You've got to wait for it. We're waiting a minute. And these 15 minutes would be great if the news came out right now and you had 15 minute scripts and I would run that. Now this is a robot, like I said, if the broker doesn't care, but if you're putting in 10 uh, Ks and you're gonna put three orders in, your broker's gonna let you do that. So if you trade in the States, what you'd have to do is, like I said, at the market, you gotta set that first ticket in, first in, first to stop out. Your first ticket's your scalp, you have to, this is what you'd have to do if you wanted to make money in the United States. Granted, you got to mortgage a home just to come up with mar mar margin, right? But if you're willing to do that, yes, you can write it. First, it was a little mind-boggling to think about it, but I see how it can be done. Okay. Each ticket needs to be based on that. So what I wrote in this script is written for the convenience of the visual effect. It is not necessarily how it should come in because it's putting this ticket in first, which it has to do if you're in the United States. You'd have to look at this and say, you cannot run this script in the United States. What it has to do is get in with your lowest risk ticket first. This has to be at the top of the rack. I only put it like this so visually you can look at the center and go, this is where we are now. You are here. When you when the robot launches this, this is his view of the market. That is center point market or current price. Throwing in limits that last a certain amount of time above and below. So in the United States, you'd have to go pick if you want to put the sell leg in first, you'd have to say all cells come in, first in, and or you're going to interweave them. It's got to go sell limit, buy limit, sell limit, alternate with the nearest one to get stopped out. So your soft stop is going to get cut based on the order you have to plan that in advance you have to backward engineer it it's a real bitch because the first time i looked at it i thought should i do this for these fucking americans no because most of my audience is european it seems and the only people in america they're you know, so pissed off that there's frank dodd they take it out on me or something i don't know what the fuck but could you trade this in the states yeah your scalp banks would have to be like you can't put in First in, first out. You can add new tickets. So you don't have to get out of something before you get into something. You could buy at the market as it's tanking like a whore. The thing is, if you buy at the market, put a tight stop on it so you get the fuck out. Buy at the market with a wide stop and realize that you're in it. You're in it to win it. And you're like uh, Michael Norman, right? This is Michael Norman, SEAL Team 6, Bozo. Yeah, you guys sit in the trade for two years, yeah. I got it. But I say, use the SEAL Team 6. How about use every SEAL Team on the planet? 
everybody's SEAL team. Uh, use it all. And I would start rewriting the script to get in six pips deep and eight, and I would build the account, you know, go to a half hour exposure maybe, get the thing to, but have them come out. So you got one currency pair, you got 10 robots managing that. You got the Asia bot, and you've got the robots that are looking for tight spreads. It's bracketing. Uh, maybe there's a spread filter to launch. If spreads get, but it's better to, you determine it. You say, I'll buy three pips deep. If the spread's five, as soon as they tighten, you're going to get that price. Right, so work it to your advantage. The, it's, the, it's, it's a sh you're showing up at somebody else's house. So when in Rome, right, if, if it's give you opportunity to get in super tight, and every minute this thing's throwing out risk, it was very aggressive. So it's doing the same thing here. And we got our first fill here. And I could also intervene on top of this robot. Or this trade plan, I should say. It's really like a constant launching of a trade plan. It's amazing. And you can back test on this. I just need to trim the time frame down or I would just trim it in pips but I say the broker's gonna get pissed unless you unless he tells you I'll oh, get a VPS you'll be fine but this is what high frequency trading is to me is a lot of tickets it's not the race to the front door I think people misunderstand like if you are trying to be the guy that beats the other guy to the front door because you see level two and you're like oh dude look at this shit here look at this shit here that's a completely different world. Running optic fiber and being the first guy, the first bozo to pull the trigger, the first idiot, it's completely different than a lot of trades. A lot of trades is high-frequency trader. Anybody that's an over-trader is a high-frequency trader, in my opinion, in my mind. I just took on some more risk here. I got stopped out. No, I got took on some more tickets. So we're up four cents. Should I get out of the end? Um, so with this... This is a systematic approach. What if? What if I pulled the trigger every hour? Well, just set the script to an hour, and your answer is answered. And you can backtest this all day long. Now, the problem is, is that you're backtesting. You've got to pick a, a spread. And you got to pick a shitty spread. But the spreads get tight, and that's when this thing pays off. Plus, if it's a dynamically changing spread, it's not like you can't back test for that. It may be, um, well, maybe you could by saying, don't let that robot trade in Asia. He's a tight bot. You could have a bad spread bot, but if you're picking the spread, then the market comes in an envelope and that discount's happening when the spread tightens, which is not revealed in a back test. You wouldn't see that effect. And here you might. Also, although I'm not doing it now, I could have the, say, limits on the, on the one hour, but at the market on the half hour. So we're getting in to go somewhere, and we're just planning on some kind of reversal. I could make this put on a trade at the market, but that's where you'd get clobbered in Asia. Better to trade on limits in Asia. Let the spreads tighten come to you. Um, when the spread's tight, it's safe to go outside and play at the market, I think. I would not trade buy stop or sell stop entry during Asia. I think your Asia bot has to take advantage of this fluctuation and then it's kind of, it's like picking up some stuff. Um, about 9.30, I think it would be great to have a stop bot, a confirmation bracketed system running. Maybe turn that on 
Maybe you'd have to manually turn that on. Um, I can't think of how to filter um, our bot from running, doing certain things you don't want it to do. But um, that's something to think about. I have to somehow add that on to that. Because that would be uh, approaching the Holy Grail, um, or the, the labor-saving device, let's just say. The whole idea of the EA is a labor-saving device, just like a, um, you know, those metal detectors people have at the beach, and they're like, look at I found some guys, some guy married a hot chick and lost her, and, and he, uh, she threw the ring in the ocean. <laughs> some drama queen throws her ring out the window. And this is the proper trend line drawing. And if you go to the line chart, which I should make black. Oh, didn't save that setting. This is an old. Oh, shit, here's an old. I want the template. I think the template has the bot built into it. Yeah, here we go. The template's built into the robot. So the template is the bot. There's got to be a way to turn the bot on and off. I'm going to insert that. Meanwhile, I'm getting clobbered here. I'm down three bucks. Not crazy about that. What am I, what's my family going to say? Here, I'm going to run this again. I am over trading now. I think I'm running that twice. Yeah. What's the spread here? Holy tightness. That's not bad. Okay, we're just going to let this trade the shit out of it. Let that cook. There she blows. Every minute. Okay, we're waiting for this thing to make a move. Uh, so the account is down seven dollars nine. I'm in really big now, and um, I cleared at least two tickets. I know that I know of. I could have won and lost, but we're on the brink of making money. Nine cents. That's what I'm talking about. So. These are about to cash out. Within 10 pips of cashing out, they're flashing. Every minute we're running 15-minute scripts on all this stuff. 